and move this let's duplicate that one move it up here shift D shift D for these spaces we'll fill them out with normal bricks like we did before like that so you can kind of see what we're doing here so for this guy let's go ahead and grab these copy them to the other side you can see we gotta adjust it a little bit Again, I'm not worrying too much about being perfect and keeping everything exactly spaced the same. So this guy needs to be rotated some, but we don't want to rotate this side. So I'm going to grab this over here and pull this out. Kind of cock that one this way. And actually what we could do to make things a little bit easier, I'm going to delete half of my background and delete all these guys. Grab this. I'm going to freeze transformations. If you, you see how I've scaled it up and I've moved it and stuff, I'm going to go over here to modify freeze transformations. And now you can see it resets everything back to square one. Hit Control D to duplicate this. I'm going to hit on the scale X. I'm going to hit negative one, and you see it flips it all the way across. Grab both my base arch pieces and go to mesh combine. So now it's one piece. But if you look over here, just to show you, if I grab this vert here and move it, you can see oh they're not they're not merged together. So let's select all four verts here, I guess eight actually, and go to edit mesh merge right here and go in the options. So the threshold here, if in case you don't know. The threshold is the distance that you can set that they will merge. That they'll look they'll look for a new point in this distance to merge with. So right now if we set it to, for example, a threshold of one and hit apply, you can see my vert count here, I'm, I'm only four verts. But if I undo that, you can see I have eight verts selected now over here. If I move this way up I like to ten and apply you see they all merge together because it looks for how many verts you have selected within 10 units and merges them all together. So we don't want to do that. So let's go all the way back down to one or so and hit apply. So now it only looks within one unit and merges together. So we, they only look amongst themselves. And so where there was two right here, now there's just one. Like so. And so like I said, to make this a little faster, we can just duplicate what we've done to one side to the other side. I'm going to hit Control D after I've selected all these. And instead of trying to mirror all this one at a time, I'm going to hit Control G to group all those bricks together. And now they're all moving together. I'm going to hit Scale X, negative 1, so it flips the whole group over. And instead of adjusting that, because I kind of like this distance over here, so I'm going to adjust it based on how how close these bricks are to the wall, like that. So that's not too bad. And then I can ungroup that because I don't really need that group anymore. So go to Edit, Ungroup. So now we just fill in the spaces that we have left with bricks. And you can follow along and do so on your own also. And for this part of the arch, I kind of want the bricks to rotate along this border. So in order to do that, Let's duplicate a brick here, move it up here like this, and let's go ahead and just rotate it. Like that. And we can just go along here, rotating and moving, duplicating. Again, Shift D can help speed you up some, so that these bricks can kind of share a rotation value and movement value with the last one that you just used. It may not put it perfectly where you want it, but it can kind of get you in your ballpark. Sometimes it works out.
And again, not worrying about too much with perfection. So for these bricks where they overlap, we can kind of cut them off. We can delete those two, I think. And for this guy, let's go into our front view. And we go to Edit Mesh Split Polygon Tool. And we could go here and split through here. Or what we can do is go to Edit Mesh Cut Faces Tool. And here if we click and drag, we have this line. And it'll cut right across that line, like that, across the whole object. So let's kind of get this cut where we want it, about right here. And then I'll select these faces on the corner here that we just created and delete those guys. And we can do the same for the rest of these bricks. I can move this guy up some. Grab my Cut Faces tool. I just used the Cut Faces tool so I can hit the Y key to reselect the tool I just used. Cut that guy. Y key, kind of cut that guy off here. And we could kind of move these guys over some, kind of shift them a little bit. And again, we, they don't all have to be lined up perfectly. Okay. And what we can do with this guy is kind of create a new brick, and then we can grab these points over here and move them over here like this. Like they got a little brick and stuck it in there to fill that space. That's what the Mason guy did. You know that, right? That's the story behind this brick. Every brick has a story. In our front view, and get a good, accurate look at this guy here. Cut across there. Delete the unnecessary faces. Delete. All right. So what are we going to do about these open spaces now, right? Well, we can go to Edit Mesh, Append the Polygon Tool. And we click this edge here and click this edge here. You see this pink area up here. Hit enter and it creates a new face there. So we'll do that again. And it fills the hole. So we'll do the same for the rest of the bricks that we've cut open.